Can you repeat that name for me? Dark Entity here. Can you let me hear your voice like you did earlier? Hell. Hell. Yeah. I feel like something's like, and yeah. then my heart's like pounding and I said I don't feel right and then REM pop went off. Right. My heart was like, like right. that. Look at that. Unlikely. Unlikely. The graves. The graves. Oh! Something just breathed on me air. Yeah. Welcome back to the channel. So tonight we're heading off to Stoke-on-Trent to one of the most haunted museums in the UK. So I'm just waiting for Shadowhunters TV to show up. Then we're driving down, meeting up with Ming's Paranormal and Nightheart Paranormal. Craig's going to be waiting for us. So Craig is the owner of the museum. He's going to show us around. There's a lot of artifacts in this place. A lot of haunted stuff, dolls, dibbit boxes, you name it, everything is here, so I really am looking forward to this. Plus he's got an asylum, he's got a chapel, he's got a seance room. Guys, there's absolutely everything here. If you are new to the channel, and you haven't already, smash that like button, subscribe and turn on post notifications. Let's see if we can get this video at least 800 likes within the first 24 hours, that would be absolutely fantastic. But yeah, with that said, just going to wait for Amy to turn up and I will catch you all when we're there. We're here in our venue this evening. We're going to give you a brief look around at what we've got here on offer at our venue. Hopefully we're going to be in for an interesting night. We've all had some sort of experiences already dealing on as we've had a yeah, look around. Yeah. So I think you're going to be here for a great night this evening, hopefully. So this room here in particular, this is what we class as our trigger room. If you want to pan your cameras around and have a little look around. We've got it in three sections. We've got the living room down here. Um, there is history and documentation to every single artifact in our museum. Chairs, one of the pinpoints and the highlights of the museum downstairs and over here. Also the TV that we use the white noise frequencies and spring box work as well. It's a great piece of equipment to use. The lamp is also an area to monitor with your cameras if you have a lock off camera. That's right, yes. Say to you. Okay. So okay. It's a great piece of footage online if you haven't seen it already, check mm. it out afterwards. But get a camera on that lamp for sure, 100%. Okay. It's a great area to work with. Over here, we had the crying boy painting. Did you hear that, man? Like, oh, yeah. It's that upstairs again. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. talking. It I, was, I heard it. It was weird because when we heard that upstairs and the sound that voice, yeah. whatever it was, that was we between us. At the same time yeah. as on that, so yeah, it was quite strange. Huh. Yeah. Then over here, this is where we do our spray box work, as you can see the Ouija board in the centre of the table. So every Ouija board that we do is in this room mainly, okay? So it's a great area, the table's very, very active as well. If you get some e-meters on there, you'd be surprised at what the readings you do get from the wooden table. Over here, the nursery. The nursery is here for a reason. Uh, we're not going to get the information over about that, but it is one of the most active areas of the museum. And I think uh, you've already picked up on quite a lot of things. Giant bags and knock upstairs. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I think you're going to be in for an interesting night. But if you hit this part of the museum, yeah. it's great. Bottom of the staircase and this part here. So let me take you upstairs, guys. Okay, so we're upstairs here in the museum, and behind this kitchen is one of our small picture areas. It is one of our most active areas at the museum, and this is our morgue area. It is a used morgue tray, very, very heavily used. We do have a used autopsy kit and a human skeleton hand on the back wall. Yeah. Over here, this is our main artifact room. As you can see, not only are these artifacts, there are some genuine pieces of history in the museum of one of these. 
Mary over here, she's the queen of the museum. Seen everywhere across the world. She can rock on a chair for people, throw herself in the chair, moves her eyes. The documentation we have with her and the footage, mainly from CCTV, in the day, lights on and in the evening, incredible. Blows people away from what they witness with that doll in this museum. Wow. Okay, over here, many, many other objects, artifacts, all with documentation, accreditation to them. In here, pieces of sandstone from Bolshkin House, human ashes, memorial cards, World War memorabilia, barbed wire from World War One from the front line in the cabinets as well. So everything that we have, as I said before, has documentation yeah. for them. So all the artifacts are the real deal. Uh, death masks from Morocco, Alistair Crowley death masks over here. Cursed Ouija boards over this side, Pazuzu from the film The Exorcist. Over here behind you is the Devil's Toy Box. Yeah. One of the most heavily documented Devil's Toy Boxes in the world. Absolutely incredible history and documentation with that. Uh, the documentation, the photographs that we have from this are absolutely insane. And I mean, the physical markings on the lady's body you will never believe. And I will bring that through for you guys to have a look at it. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Process, okay. Uh, our dark box here, which contains 20 documented haunted artifacts from all over the world. Uh, some incredible things in that box. In that box. And um, be interesting if anybody picks up anything from there. Was that in the back? Did you hear that? Yeah, it was from the back there. Yeah. That sounds like metal, something yeah, on metal. Um, it's like yeah, the, yeah. the tray. Yeah? That's, yeah, it's definitely the tray. So, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah. The curtain's going. The curtain's moving. Yeah, and as you guys know, there's no drafts in here. No, no yeah. drafts. Yeah. Doors, yeah. Everything's boarded up and padded yeah. up. So there's no drafts from anything at all yeah. in this venue whatsoever. Okay? Come through to the chapel, guys. Okay, so this is our chapel. As you can see here, we have our confessions booths. Again, a very, very active area of the museum. Absolutely incredible, especially this side, as I said to you earlier. Yeah. Uh, I've only ever been in there twice and it's not for me. I had really bad experience yeah. in there. Yeah. And I will not go in there for yeah. anything. <laughs> it's just not for me at all. Um, but interesting again, my vigil, get yourself set in there or either one on each side mm. yeah. and see what you guys yeah, that's experience. Good. It'd be yeah. interesting yeah. if you, any of you have an experience like I did in there. Yeah. Uh, if you have an experience like I did in there. Yeah. Um, without me saying any information. Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. None of us are moving then. No, either. no, we're so all still. In this building, we get a lot of, like I said to you, it can be very physical in this building. So we get people who get pulled, pushed, touched, hats taken off the head, especially mm. in that booth there. Okay, we've had growls, breaths, breaths and faces, all caught on CCTV and mm. on here yourselves. Yeah. So it's one of those buildings is you can, you don't need a lot of equipment sometimes in here because yeah. you can get yeah. it without using anything at all. Yeah. It's well, a natural environment. Yeah, the first time we walked around, yeah. we, we had didn't, massive we stuff, didn't, massive yeah. massive stuff when we had that yeah. walk around earlier on. Yeah. And we all sort of picked up on it at the same time. The feeling we had at the back of the asylum yeah. as well, yes. Yes. all of a sudden it's like that. Energy come over. It was, as well yeah. Standing yeah. In there. Felt we real that noise. Voice. It's like it was. a voice yeah. between us. Yeah. So strange yeah. things are, are happening before you've even started. So yeah. hopefully you'll be a pretty great night. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Over on this side of the chapel here, uh, there is great documentation to both of these views and the coffee nurse and experimental areas discussed as well. So it's an area you can use and lie and see what experience you have whilst lying in the coffee yeah. house. Yeah. Which of course, not for everybody. Yeah, but I've done that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's there if you wish to use it. Yeah. And the last part of the museum, if you yeah. come through, yeah. very dark in this room because there's no power in this room at all whatsoever. Yeah. This is the asylum suite. Yeah. Uh, there's a reason we put this room here and kept it exactly as it was originally. Okay, the artifacts that we have over here are documented, they are the real deal, uh, dating back to 1901 and the 1800s. So it's an incredible area. Low vigils in the chair over here are absolutely sensational. Spirit in this part of the building does not like women. So you need to be careful if you do a low vigil, that's all we will say to you. Okay. Okay, so and it's a very, very dark sign of the energy that's yeah. in this room. And then the last part over here is our padded cell. Mm -hmm. Again, it's great for your extrasensory deprivation tests. Yes. Yeah. And there is a reason why that cell is in that corner of the room. Okay. Mm. Um, and put yourselves in there, put the straight jacket on and see what you pick up on and Yeah, that'd be cells. interesting. Yeah, the whole point of, of our venue is getting your own experiences here uh, at the Haunted Museum and we have teams from all over the world who come and get some mm. incredible footage for themselves here. Yeah. 
And I think you're pretty great night. Oh, I think we are, yeah, 100%. But for what we've had from coming in yeah. and not actually recording, yeah. I do. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. That, and that's the thing, it's because we all experienced something when we had a walk around the other yeah. day, it sounds unusual. Yeah. Yeah. So, and you can see you're struggling a little bit now, yeah. to be honest with you. Mm. So just be aware, like you know yourself, you've experienced the best of these. And what yeah. we to have you in the museum, you know, and obviously you, you, you accommodate that. everybody and look after everybody. Yeah. And we hope you have a wonderful night with us. Mm. But I don't think you'd be disappointed. No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't. I think it's going to be good. And I do have to say, I'm turning up. They did have a cake oh, done just, for us. Yeah. So, yes. 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 Right, so I've come upstairs to where there's a lot of artefacts lying around. There's a particular doll here that you'd have heard him speaking about that is extremely haunted. So I have put a cat ball there to see if we get anything. I've got a second camera over there as well. And I put a REM pod down just over here. How long I do? I'm just going to listen out, see what I can capture. If anything comes through. If there's someone here that would like to come forward and speak to me, feel free. If you have a message. It's said to be very active for like, EVPs in here. So I'm just going to put the K2 on. I'm just going to stand it. Wrong. Can you tell me what you mean by wrong? Can you tell me who you are? Who I'm speaking to? Walter. 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 Right, I wasn't moving then. Can you tell me who's here? Can you repeat that name for me? This place is known for stuff like that. Just all these artefacts, they are all original as well. Am I okay being here? Do you want to come and speak to me? here has been known to move on its own. It is moving now but could that have been me? And there's no breeze whatsoever here. That's the camera. 
Hang on, but there's a click down here. Dance. You like me to dance? You can hear me. Can you tell me anything about the devil's box, tie box? I keep hearing like a tick, tick, tick. And it's not that tick. I know that's a night vision, but the a tick from downstairs. I come through here. So this is the chapel. The graves. The graves. Can you tell me more about the graves? Can you let me hear your voice like you did earlier? Hell. Hell. Hell, and what was I just talking about? The devil's tie box. Can you tell me who's attached to the devil's tie box at all? Can you play music? See, we're in a chapel. Can you play music? What kind of music would you like me to play? Ethel. Ethel. I sound like a footstep. Ethel, can you tell me who you were? Fortune. Fortune. Were you at are you attached to any of these items in this building? like a doot over there. Can you come and stand next to him? Oh, look at that reading. Are you stood with me? Drain. See, look at that. I hide again. Hello. What? Right, that has to have been picked up. I heard that clear as day right behind me. Outside. Outside. Did something happen to you outside? 
Oh, I wonder if that's them moving around downstairs. I once lived here. You once lived here? Can you tell me where here is? That is a good reading there. And as you can see, there's nothing there to interfere with it until I get to around about here. Look at that. Almost eyesight for me. Are you attached to this doll? Can you tell me what item you're attached to? I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to put the lights too far near it. Look at that. Unlikely. What's unlikely? That's a good reading. Hello? So I was getting some really good responses up here. I'm pretty sure there was some sort of noise behind me when I was stood over there that I reacted to. It sounded like, it almost sounded like a shuffle, like a t -t 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 -t, right behind me. So that was interesting. Can you make one more noise for me before I leave this section? Can you come forward and speak to me? Can you clearly tell me who you are? Can you tell me what era you're from? What year you're from? So this is the seance room, isn't it? Yeah. Which was pretty much we're using it as a base. It's just, yeah. But just before, when Amy was upstairs, that we it was really like a that. hailstorm. Then when yeah. a hailstorm hits a door, yeah, yeah. Just, that's what it sounded like. That was utter it was mental. very loud. Yeah. It sounded like it was right next yeah. to us. But oh. just sitting here, just whilst Danny's upstairs, he's doing a bit. Up in there, I think it's the asylum, I'm not too sure, but it is upstairs. Mm. But just sitting here, we're here and all sorts, little creaks, knocks, bangs. So what do you feel like? Just, you do, you look very pale. I feel like I'm away with the fairies right now, mm. is it? Mm -hmm. Is that since you were upstairs? Yeah. But you did mention before that whenever yeah. I was upstairs, didn't like people. Yeah. Hey, what moving from section to section you do there's a different vibe for each place yeah. isn't there? and there's a definitely it's very weird mm. it's definitely weird it's the weirdest place i've ever been to there's so many layers to it let's be friends Jesus. let's be friends who do you want to be friends with If you're here in this room with us, can you make a noise to let us know that you're present? Can you tell me who's trying to affect Dima? Do you feel better when you go outside? Yeah. Yeah. What? Well, <coughs> just can't explain it. It's weird. So if you feel better when you're outside, it's got to be something in there, hasn't it? feel really 
Mm. I don't know. Photos. Photos. Oh, I feel like I'm just not with it. Do you want us to take a photo? Do a quick EVP. Because he said it's good for yeah. EVPs. We can get cake. We've even got cake here tonight. Yeah. Right. Anyone else freeze? I am. No. I'm cold now. I can hear you. You, you mm. literally. I've been cold for ages. I'm not that cold where I'm shivering, mm. but you know, that's good for that one. It's recording anyway. Do not ask a question because yeah. you feel like <coughs> you're more like being affected. If this, if anybody here that's make, that is making me feel how I'm feeling now, can you tell me why? Or can you tell me who you are, please? Am I allowed here? What was vibrated? Like echoed? Not too sure. Danny's here now. Danny's here. When I said, are you He's allowed here? Outside. It sounded like something, it, my, my voice went like a oh. I've noticed something. Let's, let's, let's try listen. this. Let's listen. <coughs> listen to this. What, what was that? What yeah. the hell was that? Is it there? Is it something there? Yeah. Yeah. What was that clicking noise? Camera. No, we're at the camera. What was that? This is it. There. Yeah. What, what was that in the background? Yeah. Does it? That says yeah. Listen. Okay, oh, can you tell me who you are, please? Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely something there. Go on, is there anything else in it? That was strange. That was a definite. That was a yeah. That was. That was a yeah. Is that just from in here? Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. doing a quick session here while she well, was upstairs. I well, can you tell me who you are, please? Do you want to put this tray jacket on and then go inside and do the SD method sat there with the door shut? I'll put it on and I'll go in first if you want. I don't know, I think I need to get it out of the way. Yeah? Do you want to go first then? So he has said we can use the stray jacket. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the stray jacket on and then do the estimate method that way. That way you're more 
you, you just feel more vulnerable then, don't you? I feel vulnerable, I wouldn't I? Yeah, I feel vulnerable stood here. Summer. But imagine with the stray jacket on, being isolated in that room. Did you hear that? What? I thought I heard like a... Do you know what I find really odd? This is where I heard the noises from before, yeah. and they were loud. This is the one place where it's got no lighting, no nothing. He's got one candle, just sat there, but that's more pointing over this side. It's up to you. Do you want to do it in the chair? I don't, I'm scared, I don't know. Oh. I don't even, I don't even. Do you want to go in there? I'll go in. What do they say though? You will feel very vulnerable. I don't feel vulnerable already. I and in here, it doesn't like women. women. But I'll be sat out. Do the voice then? Do the voice. Hey? That's just turned off. I shouldn't just turn off. I have it so it, it just stays on. So the second camera is actually turning itself off. Ah. Is it? Yeah. Has it completely has. No, no, it's a full battery on it. Need to make sure actually now, don't I? That was a weird vibe in this room. Full battery. That. Right. Right. Yeah. It's weird in here. Right, let's get this over with. He said we can use the wheelchair if we want to and the stray jacket, yeah? He said we can sit in it. Why don't we put the wheelchair inside with you strapped to it and use the chair that's there to put your camera on to record yourself? And then I'll sit outside here and I'll ask the questions. Yeah. Yeah? Does that sound better for you? Yeah, because you're in the same room. <laughs> right, let's do that then. Let's get you set up in uh, the chair. So you just got Amy set up. Close her in. Then I'll just take a seat just over there. So if you want to see Amy's footage, head over, check it out. I will leave a link for the channel in the description. No, you conjure. Oh my good lord. I'm here. Yeah. In mate. How are you? Who are you? Foreign language. They will. I can't repeat that. Oh, something just touched me. Can't move. UK Solomon <laughs> Why are you here?
in front. I'm the prodigal. Another foreign language. There's more. There are. Demon. Devil. Down. Foreign language. F you. Claire. Tell me name. Museum. Trapped. We are not perfect. I'm not too sure what that said. Night time. Oh, something just touched me. Parsley. Something's touching me on the back. This is what you wanted. Thanks. You're at B. Can't repeat. Your neck. Leave this place. Walter, Simon, Thomas, Doctor, Oh, greedy hair. Courage. Change. Somebody get you out of here. Leave. US Marine. Head wound. Leave this place. You're not welcome. Oh. Something just breathed down my ear. From Brazil. Hey, man. I feel like it's a cup of on it. Come here. You all right? Take off. Carry on. Oh my God, mate. You don't. Something just touched me. Thank you. Hey, you don't. Yeah, yeah. Oh, mate. It's not nice, is it? It is the weirdest feeling, especially you can't move. No. Something breathed down my neck. It's horrible. Oh, don't. That is interesting. It is interesting. Okay. I don't know either. That was, that was next level, that, mate. Something breathed down my neck, and I, I kept feeling like I was being touched. They're like cobwebs. Yes, yeah, haven't you? That is a horrible, horrible feeling. Well, there was noises coming from in there. Mate, I was hearing noises when you were in there as well, honestly. And it's interesting as well, what I asked, what's here, Yeah. I asked, where do you want us to go? Where do you want us to go? And you would get out, get out of here. Is that what? And I said, who do you want us to, who do you want to, I said something about me. 
Mm. And then you say, the bitch, get out the bitch. Yes, the, the bitch, bit, yeah. Get out the bitch. Because there was a few words that Come I down. couldn't really say, like, it said the R word, um, R-A, you get the rest. <gasps> yes, it did. And I said, who are you? And you said, the doctor. Yeah. <gasps> Mate, I've just realised the doctor. The doctor is related to this, this bag. I don't know what, but... This was going off. Honestly, mate, it's but mate, weird. Isn't right, it? just look. That key two has been on the end. Yeah. Just put it back there, it's not going off. Yeah, that. It's when you're separated. It's mate, I think this this place makes you it preys on you when you're born. Yeah. That's the camera. There's a doop come from there. just walking down the stairs after setting up for me camera on the stairs and as I was coming through these doors just here there's curtain I'll show you the footage there was like a big bang actually being caught on the CCTV so I'll show you that now Absolutely insane, unexplainable, nothing's moved. It was just like somebody banged maybe on the stairs or further up where the toys are. I don't know, it's something I cannot explain whatsoever. But even Ernie, you got the same thing, didn't you? I did, yeah. I got a double, um, which again has been verified. Yeah, the on the CCTV. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. I, yeah. My heart went really? like pounding like that. I said to you, get on my heart. Yeah. I feel like something's like, and yeah. then my heart started pounding, and I said, I don't feel right, and the REM pod went off. Right. My heart was like, like yeah. that. That's why I said it's good to, these are really dry. Yeah. yeah. There's my torch. But look at these here, real quick. So these are our real brains. So the stuff here, the that, that looks like an eyeball, yeah. and that is actually a real hand as well. Are you something to do with the doll with the red dress? Mary. Mary. Can you rock in that chair, if it's you Mary? Can you make that chair move? Can you knock on something for us? I heard that. Yeah, I can hear that. Is it coming from down here? I don't know. I don't know if it was behind mocks or something. I'm not sure. Can you do that one more time for me, please? That wasn't. What was that? Don't that come oh, through. That's weird, it's a really high pitch before. Mm. Was that you that we just heard? If so, can you make the device on the floor go off? <laughs> so? Did you hear that creaking? I didn't hear it. No. Only one. If the gentleman that wore that green beret in the arm is here,
can you make a noise? Mary, if you're not happy with that device I've put on the table in front of you in your chair, can you knock it over so it comes off your table? I'm running the spirit talker as well. Yeah. Mary, if that's you that's with us, can you tell us what colour the dress is on the door? Speaking. Speaking. Mm. Is that your voice we could hear? Yeah, that. They keep secrets here. Oh. 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 Who keeps secrets? <laughs> can you tell me? Can you walk towards us? Who's the who's the young girl we've heard? We've heard a young girl's voice. Quite a few times. A demon here. Demon here. A demon here. Who's Since... who's the young girl? Are you still here? Can we hear you again, please? Or can we see you? Can you show yourself? Ah, so? Did you hear the voice as well? Did you not hear no. it? I felt something go like that and then it sounded like something went oh. What is it there now? Okay. Oh, Can you tell me your name? Can you? Cool. Cool. If you want to come and speak to us, ring this phone. Is that turned on actually? Uh, don't want to like it, mate. Did that make, was that you that made that noise then? No, but did you hear it? Like, uh, that was, yeah, it came yeah. from there, yeah. again. So, we literally. Find yourself then. I heard a voice in the back here, which was absolutely the same. It was like it. Yeah. yeah, it was crazy that. Right, what a fantastic night it's been. So we have run out of time. We only had it for five hours here tonight. Definitely gonna have to come back on a return, check it out again. Let me know what you thought in the comment section. Absolutely mental, some of the responses we were getting. Go check them out, the link is in the description for the Haunted Museum, as well as everybody else's channels and all my social media links. But yeah, I cannot wait to get back and just see what I've got on this EVP. But yeah, with that said, that's the end of the night. Fortunately, we can't spend much longer there, so I will catch you all on the next one.